Welcome back to the road. Today we're stopping off for a short visit to the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. We probably own a lot of the motivation to create this park to the late president, Theodore Roosevelt. He was a true American character, meaning that he was very much larger than life. He came here back in 1883 to hunt bison and ended up falling in love with the Badlands. He called the lifestyle he discovered here perfect freedom. He was inspired to invest a large sum of money for the time and start a ranch. In 1884, when he was faced with the double tragedy of losing his wife and mother, he returned to this place to try and heal emotionally. Teddy Roosevelt wrote books and articles about his life in the Badlands that inspired the readers of the time. So when the park was developed, his name was chosen for it. It is the only national park named for a specific person in the United States. United States does have a lot of wildness, but it is also a highly developed nation. It is difficult to go far without running into evidence of people. This park acts as a sort of window into the world before. Special beauty to this place, and I can see how Roosevelt fell in love with it. There is something magical in the sound of the wind rushing over the endless fields of grass. Bison herds roam the park, and you might even end up with them invading your campsite. I have heard that you shouldn't get too close, but what do you do when they show up outside your tent? There are some good hiking trails here, so we get to have a look from our side of the car. This is the Wind Canyon Trail. If you want an easy hike that gives you some incredible views of the park, you can't go wrong here. It is so beautiful here. Enjoy this visit to Theodore Roosevelt National Park. I feel stunned by the beauty of this place. 
I can see why the late president will choose this place to heal after facing so much tragedy. Being here is like being transported to a place out of time. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you.